What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two with this Gruul Luka combo deck. Uh, holy crap, is it a fun one. Um, I know if you did not check out part one, I highly recommend you do so. As always, uh, we did only get one win. Uh, one of those losses, though, was a pretty big misplay on my end. So we're going to try and avoid that this time. Uh, and we're going to do the best we can to at least get a few wins in with this one. Uh, this is a very, very fun deck. I've been seeing Luca uh, just go around all uh, all over the place. And so to, to see it really work is awesome. Uh, this is a very interesting hand. I'm going to try this one. This is more for, for science than anything else. Um, don't know how this is going to go. We are against a Garuda deck, um, which is probably not good for us, considering um, we've got really strong creatures in our deck. Uh, so we will see what they're going to do. Um, I'm assuming it's Bant Garuda, uh, if they're running Temple of Enlightenment, but that's just my assumption. Uh, could very well... Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're going to go head for head on ramp here. Um, play out our Paradise Druid. Uh, really, we just want to draw a Luka. If we can get a Luka uh, off the top of the deck this turn, um, the following turn, or this this coming turn, we can play out the carry added, and then we can actually go for it next turn. Um, but... This is going to be a tough one because, again, being a Garuda deck, they're going to be able to uh, to pull back quite a lot of value just out of our own deck, uh, which is not good. And unfortunately, we didn't get there. Uh, let's go ahead, play out the carry added, um, and we'll pass. Let's see. There is still hope. I mean, if we draw the Luka this turn, we're fine. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to go for something else here, either a Nyssa or maybe a Vivian. Um, questing Beast, very, very good. Uh, and actually, that's a quite a big problem for us. Um, ugh. Unfortunately, that's not going to do it for us. Uh, let's go ahead and fetch this. Um, hmm. I truly do not know what the best thing to do here is. Uh, I'm going to try and Vivian. My, my assumption is we're not going to get the combo this time. We probably lost uh, just based on that. Um, and that's okay. I mean, it's... Ex it's... it's um, if you don't have the Luka, obviously that's kind of the risk you run in a combo deck. So it makes sense. Um, thankfully, the easy pieces to get we're going to have most games. Um, and this was a sketchy keep to begin with. This is this is the learning experience side of it. So uh, I just kind of want to see how this deck performs when we don't have, you know, the optimal hand or anything like that. Um, yeah. So whenever this deals damage to a player, right? Yeah, we're going to block here just to save our Vivian. Worth noting, they're not going to Garuda this turn. That doesn't mean they're not going to do something really sweet, but uh, if we can get Luka, well, we're not going to, I suppose, but meh. Three, four, five, six. If we were getting a land, that would be helpful. <laughs> Another carry added. Um, I mean, we could do that, get a Gilded Goose. That doesn't seem all that good, does it? Uh, let's do this. They're going to Garuda this coming turn, so we're not going to be in good shape, I think, regardless. Let's go ahead and play this out. Um... One good thing we have going for us, we have quite a lot of mana ramp. Um, go ahead and play this one out as well. 
Great thing about Vivian, you get to play from the top of your deck. Uh, if it is a creature, absolutely love that. Uh, no attacks. We're playing this out for the sake of just seeing how it goes, but the the assumption is, you know, they're they're gonna go ham here. They get two at minimum two Garudas here. Uh, looks like more than that. They only got Gilded Gooses on our end at least, so that's good. <laughs> oh jeez, is this even? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Um, yep, pretty bad. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and concede here. They've got, they've got our great worm. Uh, there's very little we can do about that. That's the one thing that I will say about this is against either an agent of treachery deck or a Garuda deck. We're setting them up, man. We have to get there well before they do, otherwise we are we are done. Um, that was a bad keep on my end, uh, for sure. Going up against a Garuda deck, you you should probably just mulligan down so you have a Luka, uh, or at least some some semblance of like a decent way to get there. Uh, this I'll keep. Um, we don't have any red mana, you know, just land wise, but we've got a decent number of uh, rampers here, so we're gonna try this. We are against a very aggressive deck, so we are going to have to be fairly quick here. I don't know how quick we can truly be, to be honest. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one, but we're going to do the best we can. Going with Paradise Druid first, because it does have Hexproof. Um, that does help us get our red, uh, which is good. Incubation Druid kind of helps us with Paradise Druid, gets us there as well, but... Um, yeah, we'll see. I wonder how, like, Arboreal Grazer would do in this kind of list. Uh, we're not going to block. This just feels so bad at, uh, when all you're doing is kind of playing out random stuff. Um, hmm. So I'm trying to think if we could, we can fight the uh, Inspiring vet Veteran and we will lose our Paradise Druid, but I think that might be worth it uh, to save ourselves as much damage here as possible. Uh, we can actually have it fight either one of these. Um, maybe it's actually this that we wanted to fight. Go ahead and do this um, and get our red here. Don't love the way that we're looking, uh, if I'm honest, but we'll uh, we'll do the best we can. Um, we kind of just have to be able to deal with the board, and unfortunately we don't have a ton of tools to do that. Um, what's good is we do have the Luka as well as an Incubation Druid, but the, the fact that they're dealing minimum 5 damage this turn, now more than that, uh, if, they, if they just play more stuff, is not good for us. Um, Kind of happy they went for Domri there, to be honest. Surprisingly, not the worst draw in the world. Um, it's not great, but it's not the worst. Uh, let's get our second red. Let's go here. And let's go here. It shields up for a turn. If we can make it a turn, we might be able to get somewhere, but we've got to be really, really careful. Um... Hmm. If we get the chance to sack, I think we have to sack the Incubation Druids so we can use this. Um, yep. I assume they've got another play to follow this up. Uh, very happy we killed the card draw, despite the fact that this is really a damage dealer for sure. <clears throat> yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can block... I mean, chances are we're, we're done here, um, but got to try it, right? So 
Attack Incubation Druid, we can give something haste here. And raise Forerunners, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's game. Uh, they've got too much on the board. Ugh, not, not doing so well with this one, guys. Um, I still love this deck. I think it's a fun deck, but I think we may need some kind of different configuration. Maybe it's just more lands and a little bit of removal. Um, maybe it's the control shell is a better option, uh, which very well could be the case. I think this is very all in. Uh, the control shell is very much a control deck with Luka combo. Uh, you don't need the combo, but it certainly helps. We're kind of dependent on the combo to really, really get there. So, um, regardless, I still think this is fun, but, uh, I definitely think that's a bit of a problem for us. So we're gonna keep this we're gonna do the best we can with this one we'll lean on fabled passage to start <clears throat> um just because it's not gonna matter we don't have a turn one play rather use the tap land now before uh it, it becomes a problem potentially later uh and we can get paradise through it out on turn two or the drawbridge really either one um whatever we decide is most necessary uh unfortunately that's like a terrible draw because we've got two of those but <laughs> that's okay um, we will see what we can do. Uh, on the bright side, these games go very, very fast. So even though we are losing, um, you know, on the best of one ladder, I know a lot of people just kind of ladder up as quickly as possible. A lot of times that's why you see stuff like mono red. Um, and this deck falls in line with that most of the time where it is just very, very fast, uh, or, you know, just loses very, very fast either way. But, um, Let's get our second green. Based on our hand, I think that's a better call. Um, do that. Let's get Paradise Druid down. Uh, rather, I, I like getting the Paradise Druid down as quickly as I can because it does have Hexproof. Now, this is a Jeskai deck. It's a Kahira deck, which is a bit strange. Um, I'm assuming maybe a Fires list or something. Uh, not, not sure. Um, this is an interesting combination of cards here, but... Normally, this makes me worry about, like, Deafening Clarion uh, is kind of the big thing, um, which they would have to use to get rid of this. But you see, now this gets around to Fairy. They can't bounce it. There's the Luka. Um, that's not bad. Hmm. I could have attacked here. I don't know if I should have or not, to be honest, because it would have gotten that down to a place where it could not have bounced something. Um, but my my secret hope, I'll say, is that they just kind of want to bounce Domery, because um, then it doesn't matter. Um, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay. Please bounce not Paradise Druid. Oh. All right. Well, if we draw a land, we're okay, but we didn't draw a land. Um, All right, let's go ahead, get rid of Teferi. Kind of have to do that. Um, I'm going to put this out um, instead of the carry added because this leave this is going to stick around if they do Deafening Clarion. Um, unless they somehow double it up, but they're not going to. So this just gives us a better option here. Um, Interesting. They can't really have a counter here. Not for one mana. Alright. We do have the Haster out, which is awesome. Um, okay, well... Swing in there. We'll swing in there. Deal four damage here. Yeah, we'll just do that. I think I could have spread that out differently, so I just kind of clicked through. Um, <clears throat> but that's okay. 
Uh, we'll up tick. Doesn't really matter. We're just kind of. All right. This is what the deck wants to do. We just have to hope it's enough. Um, very interesting shell here with Kahira at the helm. But yeah, there we go. All right, well, we got one win. Um, doing exactly what the deck is wanting to do, which is just really, really get into a strong creature way earlier than it should. Uh, I like the way this plays out, I'll be honest. Um, do I think that this deck is amazing? In summation, do I think this deck is amazing for best of one? Probably not. Um, I think it, it needs a little bit. Um, and maybe, I, I think it can be very, very good in best of one. What I think needs to happen is just this specific list needs a little bit of alteration to be able to deal with some other strategies. Um, it's a very all-in shell. Uh, I would, I, I think what we'll probably do very soon is try out a control shell with the Lucas combo, uh, or Luca combo, just to kind of see how it actually plays out in that shell versus this one. Um, I think it's a great combo. It is sweet i mean really really sweet uh, but in those control shells you actually get to you know sacrifice like a token from your birth of Miletus, for instance and all of a sudden you're getting an agent of treachery stealing whatever the opponent does and that you're getting two for one value off of it so there's a lot of things you can be doing there um i don't know i i like it i really do like it but i think it needs something uh, so we're we're gonna probably test out some more luca decks very very soon uh, so do expect those I like this shell. I recommend if you've got the cards to do it or you've got the wild cards to do it, try it out. Uh, and then try this, try Luca out in different shells as well. And let me know what you think. If you've got a shell for it or if you've got a deck list for it, share it with us. We'd love to try that out. Uh, I know we, we've, uh, in our Discord channel, if you're not already in there, you can certainly join. Uh, link is on our website and everything like that. But uh, if you'd like to join there, we've got a channel dedicated to deck suggestions. So you can leave them there. Uh, we'll happily try those out. So regardless, this deck was fun. I love this one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It was, uh, it was a cool one. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.